In this video, we will teach you how to do the wiring for the following kits. These are all the tools we recommend you have when you install this system. It's recommended to use electrical wire for this installation. 18 slash 4 or 22 slash 4 gauge wire. This wire is a requirement that is needed to connect the mag lock, receiver, and exit button. You may also use this wire as an extension for the power supplies. 300 feet maximum with 18 slash 4 gauge wire. This is the installation diagram for this kit. You can find it physically in the package and on the FPC security website. Connect the red wire from the mag lock to the red wire of the first power supply. Connect the red wire from the exit button to the red wire of the first power supply. Connect the black wire from the exit button to the black wire of the first power supply. Connect the black wire from the first power supply to the COM yellow wire of the receiver. Connect the black wire from the mag lock to the COM green wire of the exit button. Connect the NC orange wire from the exit button to the white wire of the receiver. Connect the red wire from the second power supply to the red wire of the receiver. Connect the black wire from the second power supply to the black wire of the receiver. After we are done with the wiring, go ahead and plug both power supplies in, and we should see that the mag lock engages and turns the green light on. If we press the exit button, the mag lock releases for 4 seconds. Now what we need to do is program the remotes on the receiver. To do that, Press the white button on the bottom of the receiver once and let it go. And then press the button on the remote once and let it go. Do this for each remote you need to program. Once the remote is programmed, if you press the remote's button, the meg lock should release for four seconds. The receiver can be programmed to four different functions. Four second delay, toggle switch, press on, latch. The default function is the four second delay. To set this function up, you need to leave the jumper in the first two set of pins labeled as DE. When the transmitter or remote button is pressed, the receiver will turn on for 4 seconds and automatically turn off after the 4 seconds. This means that when you press the remote, the lock will release and lock back after 4 seconds. If you want to program the second function of the receiver to make it work as an on-off toggle switch, what you need to do is remove the black jumper. The function works as on-off switch, meaning that if you press the button on the remote, it will unlock the lock, and if you press the button again, it will lock. The third function is the press on function. To set this function up, you need to put the jumper in the third two set of pins labeled as MA. As long as the transmitter or remote button is pressed, the receiver will stay on. In other words, while the button is pressed, the lock will release. The fourth function is the latched function. This function only works if you have a VIS-8008 remote with two buttons and the VIS-8007 wireless receiver. To set this function up, you need to put the jumper in the second two set of pins. Press transmitter button A, the receiver relay A is on. Press transmitter button B, the receiver relay A will stop working. Get your access control kit here, www.fpc-security.com slash fpc-5006.